Celebrities might sometimes think they're above the law, or at least they might act like it. But their high-profile status isn't some kind of magical legal shield. From Robert Mitchum to Tim Allen to Robert Downey Jr., dozens of stars have found themselves thrown into the slammer for breaking the law and getting caught. Join Facts First as we take a look at a few classic Hollywood stars who have served time in jail. Robert Mitchum in autumn of 1948, the star of classic films like Night of the Hunter and Cape Fear was puffing away on a joint at a low-key party in Laurel Canyon when law enforcement officers raided the place and arrested him. At the time, Mitchum was quoted as saying his arrest would prove to be the bitter end of everything. He reportedly believed he was about to lose his career, marriage, and everything else he'd worked so hard to achieve. But it wasn't that bad. He was already separated from his wife Dorothy at the time, but they got back together, and she supported him through the scandal. As far as the public, nobody seemed to care that he'd been caught smoking the devil's lettuce. Mitchum's career also didn't seem to take a hit either. The next film he appeared in, Rachel and the Stranger, was a box office success. It's speculated Mitchum's arrest was largely meant to be a publicity stunt to show off the LAPD's anti-drug measures. When it came time for Mitchum to go to court, his expensive studio attorneys took issue with several irregularities in the case, and eventually Robert agreed to serve 60 days in jail. Upon release, he spent the next three years on probation. Mitchum died of complications of lung cancer July 1, 1997. May West the Roaring Twenties were all about pushing the envelope of what was socially acceptable, but not everyone was happy about this. On February 9, 1927, Mae West was backstage at a performance of her controversial play Sex when she found herself surrounded by cops from the NYPD Municipal Vice Squad, who subsequently rounded her and the plays cast up and threw them in the back of a black police van. West was known for being a wisecracking, silver-tongued, blonde bombshell during the golden age of cinema. She was notorious for delivering some of the most risque and cutting one-liners in film history. Since she was both a screenwriter and playwright, in addition to being an actress, she penned many of those suggestive lines herself. West got her start in showbiz and burlesque before arriving in Tinseltown. As she struggled to make a name for herself, she decided to make a pretty bold move by writing a provocative play in which she took the leading role as a sex worker. She knew that her play Sex would be met with controversy. Even though the 20s were pretty wild, there was increasing censorship and scrutiny facing the entertainment industry. That being said, looking back on it, sex really didn't deserve the backlash it received. It was less about the act of sex itself and more about the power dynamics between the sexes. On April 19, 1927, West was charged with obscenity and, quote, behavior designed to corrupt the morals of the youth. She was sentenced to 10 days in a labor house. She served her brief sentence on Welfare Island, which was later named Roosevelt Island, in New York City. It's even alleged she had dinner with the warden during her stay. Citing good behavior, West was released two days early. West later said her time in jail and the media attention she received because of it was well worth it. Humorously, she quipped that the only thing that bothered her about the experience was having to wear cotton panties. West passed away September 18, 1980, shortly after suffering a stroke that left her paralyzed on her right side. Ultimately, it was pneumonia that claimed her life. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more stars who spent time in jail. Lila Leeds Best known for her films Lady in the Lake, April Shower's Society Girl, and Wild Weed, Leeds was a relatively popular actress in the 40s. On September 1, 1948, she was arrested alongside Robert Mitchum when the police raided the party they attended. She was charged with marijuana possession and spent the next 60 days in jail. Reportedly, Leeds was introduced to heroin for the first time while serving. She later starred in the Reefer Madness-style anti-cannabis propaganda film You Should Have Said No in 1949. But unlike Mitchum, Leeds' career never recovered. Tim Allen On October 2, 1978, the home improvement actor was arrested at the Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport in Michigan. He was charged with possession of over 650 grams of cocaine. Allen pled guilty to felony drug trafficking charges and gave police the name of other dealers in exchange for a reduced sentence. He was initially looking at a life sentence, but after snitching out his buddies, he got three to seven years. He was paroled on June 12, 1981, after serving just two years and four months. In 1998, he was arrested once again for DUI in Birmingham, Michigan. He had a blood alcohol level of 0.15, almost twice the legal limit. He was slapped with one year of probation and subsequently checked himself into rehab for alcohol abuse to fulfill a court-ordered obligation. 
James Brown. Known as the Godfather of Soul, this legendary singer had several run-ins with the long arm of the law during the summer months of 1988, but those only resulted in him serving probation. Later that year, on September 24th, he went on a reckless and violent spree that resulted in him being charged with assault and battery with the intent to kill. That day, he walked into an insurance seminar in Augusta, Georgia, toting a shotgun and a pistol and ordered everyone to vacate the premises. He then ran off in his truck while attempting to evade police. During the chase, cops followed him into South Carolina and back to Georgia again. He kept running even after police shot out three of his tires. After driving on wheel rims for six miles, he crashed into a ditch. Brown, who had earlier that year been charged with PCP possession and illegally carrying a pistol, was sentenced to six years and six months in prison. Three years later, he was released. In 1998, Brown got himself into trouble again when he was arrested and charged with possession of weed. Fortunately, this time he didn't serve any time in the slammer. He did have to enter a 90-day drug treatment program. In December of 2006, Brown died at age 73. Sean Penn Sean Penn has gotten himself into legal trouble on more than one occasion. In October 1985, Sean pled no contest to charges that he accosted two journalists who were trying to snap photos of him and his girlfriend at the time, Madonna, in Nashville. He ended up being fined 50 bucks on each of his two assault and battery charges. A year later, he was charged with assault once again for attacking Lionel Boralho, a correspondent for a Hong Kong newspaper, after he discovered the man taking photographs of him and Madonna as they arrived at their hotel. Several months later, he was charged with battery an additional time for allegedly assaulting singer-songwriter David Walensky at a nightclub in L.A. In 1987, he violated the terms of his probation and was arrested after he punched a film extra named Jeffrey Klein in the face while filming the movie Colors. He received a 60-day sentence in jail. Months later, he was arrested for reckless driving and spent another 33 days in jail. Robert Downey Jr. In the mid-90s, Downey Jr. was arrested numerous times on charges related to the possession of narcotics. He ended up going through several drug treatment programs and shockingly revealed to a judge in 1999 that he'd been addicted to drugs since he was eight. He further asserted it was his father who got him hooked in the first place. In 1996, Downey Jr. was arrested for possessing multiple illegal substances as well as an unloaded 357 Magnum handgun after he was pulled over for speeding on Sunset Boulevard. A month later, he was arrested again after trespassing into one of his neighbor's homes and falling asleep in one of their beds while under the influence of an illicit drug. He was given probation and ordered to undergo regular drug testing. After missing a mandatory court-ordered drug test in 1997, he spent six months in L.A. County Jail. In 1999, he missed another drug test and was arrested again. He was sentenced to three years in prison. A year into his sentence, Robert was unexpectedly freed after a judge granted him early release. On Thanksgiving in 2000, he was arrested after his hotel room was searched by police who found several illegal drugs. Downey Jr. continued to struggle with addiction for the next year or so and was admitted into two other rehab facilities. After five years of arrests, addiction, and relapses, he got clean and sober in 2001 and went on to have one of the greatest career comebacks in cinema history. Mark Wahlberg Wahlberg has portrayed himself as a professional actor for about as long as we can remember, but when he was 16 years old, he spent 45 days behind bars. He wound up there after assaulting a Vietnamese shopkeeper and using racial slurs against him. He was apparently under the influence of PCP. Reflecting on his experience in jail years later, Mark admitted it had changed his perspective on life and motivated him to do better. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these celebrities was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.